Mm -mm. Cheers, kids. Yummy, yummy. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Okay, all right. I think we're ready. Okay, it's a cloudy day on a Wednesday. It's a morning. Hi, you're watching Grace We Eats and we're here at Clementi Central, Clementi 448 Market and Food Centre to talk about fried carrot cake, which is the stall right over there. Yeah. It's one of the most popular stalls in Clementi and fried carrot cake commands long queues every morning for its carrot cake. And if you pop by on a Saturday morning, it can be easily a 45 minute wait at least. The store was started in the 1960s by Ng King Chow, who is now in his 80s, I believe. Ng migrated from China when he was 15 and used to sell fried carrot cake from a push cart on the street in the Tiong Baru area in the mornings before shifting to Bukit Ho Sui in the afternoons to hawk his wares. The business shifted to Clementi 448 Market and Food Centre in 1980 and Ng operated the store with his wife uh, running the front end, managing customers' orders and money. People who grew up eating at this food centre will probably remember Ng's signature straw hat, which he wore while frying. King Chow passed the business to his son, Ng Jung Yu, and his wife Jessie Lee in 2010. And now their 26-year-old son, as of 2021, Brandon, he joined the business in 2019. So his parents operate the stall in the mornings, and Brandon takes over the stall in the afternoons and runs it until 6pm. So come, let's have a taste. Okay, I'm back with uh, two plates and that actually took relatively quite fast. Probably because it's late morning and I joined the queue at the right time. We was already starting to dish out two or three minutes later after I joined the queue. So what did I get? I got the white and I got the black uh, with chili because I like chili. Both $3. They offer it in 3, 4 and 5. 3, 4 and 5? Okay. 3, 4 and 5, yeah, that's right. Okay, so um, I'm just going to try the white one first. Oh, I'll show you this bit because it's got a bit of a charred bit here, right here, which is great. See, there's a little charred bit right over there. Yum! Oh, not oh, bad, man. The reason why I'm really surprised is because this is one of the few times where I've actually tried the son's version, the grandson, uh, Brandon's version, and it's actually just as good as his dad's. I'm actually very surprised. So, every element of their carrot cake, whether black or white, is actually worth trying here. Like. If you look at some carrot cake stalls, right, sometimes they have their radish cake, their long strips, or they've got larger chunks. But here at Fried Carrot Cake, right, they actually sell their chai tau kue, which is carrot cake, in a chopped up little bite sized pieces. Is the other common style which you find at carrot cake stalls. Like. So the radish cakes used to be handmade in the past, but they've switched over to factory made kueh for a number of years now. Like. I'll show you the, um, the kueh itself. This is the factory kueh. Mm, yeah. Can be a little bit drier and firmer as opposed to um, hand milk kueh, which some Thai Tao kueh stalls still do. Like. So what they do to try to mitigate it is to actually double fry the radish cake. So once with oil, fish sauce and Thai po, preserved radish. And then another time with all the other ingredients, lah, the egg and the chili or the black sauce, depending on the order. Mm. So the double frying helps a bit, but the texture is still slightly firm and slightly on the dry side than if it was hand milled on site at the stall. Lah. Use a mix of sweet and salty Thai po, so there's a nice balance of both tastes in every bite. But the real reason why the carrot cake is so unique and so flavoursome is because they actually mix a little bit of pork oil. So I asked Jong Yu, I think about a year back or maybe two years back, about what the actual mix is. And it's roughly about, it's less than 50% pork oil. It's about 60, 40, 70, 30 around there. Which is not exactly ideal, but it makes a big difference in the flavour. So the overall result is that there's a balance of savoury, uh, pork oil richness, bursts of chai po saltiness and sweetness, and a mix of uh, soft and crispy textures. Like. 
The great part is that even when there are crispy textures, right, there's still enough moisture in the dish and it doesn't feel dry at all. That's with chilli and the chilli enhances the flavour even more with a little more of a savoury punch. They actually recently changed over their, uh, their sambal chilli supplier. La. Previously, it used to be just very, 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 very light. But now, it's still very, very light, but there's a little bit more of a savoury sheen on top, which I think actually makes it nicer. Now, um, I'm going to try the black version. Mm. Oh, I must say, I'm very impressed by sun. It's very hard for me to say that it's better than the dad's version because I'm very biased but my goodness, it's pretty much there, okay? Now the black version is basically the white version plus a bit of caramel sweet soy sauce inside and it does nice by just adding delicate but earthy sweetness to the dish without the sweetness actually dominating the whole dish lah, very nice Makes it sweet but it's not too sweet lah and actually you see like little burn bits here and there very very slight lah so that there's a little bit of smokiness too but whether you like the black or white depends on how you like your carrot cake lah, and whether you like your sweetness. I think you can actually opt for a black and white version where you just order one and then you get both versions on one plate. So as with most carrot cake stalls, right, you take the white version you taste more of the ingredients, the kueh, the egg, the chai por, the chili, that sort of thing. But the black version, you taste less of it. You taste more of the sweet black sauce lah. Okay then, so that was a look at uh, fried carrot cake which is located at Clementi 448 Market and Food Centre. These are very good plates of Chai Dao Kui. But if you want to fine tune the dish some more, right, try and gauge when to join the queue. So the carrot cake is actually fried in batches, and when done, the fire is left on a low heat. So the carrot cake served towards the end of the batch is actually a little drier, but with crispier egg and kuih bits. Lah. The opposite is obviously the case if you get your order towards the beginning of the batch. You get softer egg and kueh bits and the dish is more moist. So would I travel half across Singapore to eat here? It's almost a definite yes. The fact that the hoggers use pork lard makes such a world of difference to the overall flavour. Though some might find issue with the texture of the kueh itself, which can be a little firm and dry even though it is double fried and cut up into smaller pieces. I mean, unfortunately, that is the unavoidable nature of factory-made radish cake lah. So, thanks for watching another episode of Greg's Meat Eats, where I eat through the whole of Singapore. If you liked this uh, episode, give a like, subscribe, comment below, click on the notifications bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.